Traders, welcome back to the Trading Psychology Fundamental Series. In this series, we cover a crucial topic to your trading success to ensure that you overcome the negative trading emotions and achieve consistent profitability. And each of these episodes is dedicated to giving you a practical tool and the understanding of a very key concept in trading psychology so that you can become a better, more profitable trader. And in today's video, we are discussing specifically how to remove the pain of losing. And every trader has been in that situation where they take a loss and it has a dramatic effect on the way they feel, on their mood, on the way they then go off and handle their relationships that, that, that day, handle their job that day, sleep that night, what they eat. Every trader understands this, that if you don't know how to master your emotions, you don't know how to manage your emotions, or specific, specifically when we talk about losing, then you're gonna be vulnerable to your trading and it's gonna impact every area of your life. So without further ado, I wanna get into this very practical masterclass on how you can remove the pain of losing. Okay, now the problem here we're addressing, let's first understand the driving force, let's understand where the pain of losing actually comes from. And then again, if we understand the root cause of that, we can then put things in place to address the root cause. So. Let's understand the pain of losing on a, on a biological level first, a anthropological level, an ancestral level, right? Where this actually came from. Why do we have this response to a loss? Why is it so devastating? And uh, the truth is, like we've discussed in some of the other fundamental series, that the brain we have in our heads nowadays is a development of our ancestors. Human psychology and human nature never gets rid of old things. It just builds new layers on top of. So the brain we walk around nowadays, although it's more evolved for most people, right? not for everybody, but for most people, it's more evolved. The same hardwired survival response is still there. That's why at times you might catch yourself acting like a little bit of an animal. For example, if you're in traffic and someone cuts you off or someone says something that challenges your values and your priorities in that moment, you can probably catch yourself acting like a little bit of an animal, maybe not in the moment, but when looking back on it. Okay, so we still have these responses because they're hardwired within us. We're not gonna get rid of them. They're essential for survival, okay? They're essential biological survival responses. So we have to understand that when we experience a loss in the market and that challenges our values and that challenges uh, what we wanna go off and accomplish, think about it from this perspective. Thousands of years ago, if our ancestors had something that was classified a loss in front of them, a challenging situation in front of them, it was most likely something like a saber-toothed tiger that was going to kill and eat them. So the response they had to develop back then to keep themselves alive, it keep themselves alive is the very response that has been passed on to us. So those ancestors, when they had a threat in front of them, they had to have this survival response of a release of cortisol and adrenaline, go into the sympathetic fight or flight response. If they perceived themselves stronger than the threat, they would fight it. If they perceived themselves weaker than the threat, they would run away from it, right? They have to have that response hardwired to keep themselves alive. So we have that same response when we now see a, what we classify and perceive in our mind as a challenging threat, a loss in that moment, a challenge to our expectations, a challenge to our account size, a challenge to what we want for that month, then guess what? That same hardwired response is gonna fire. The cortisol, the adrenaline, we're gonna have confirmation bias to only let in how terrible that loss is, how painful it is, how challenging it is. We're gonna have disconfirmation bias blocking out any of the, the benefits in that moment, blocking out any of the uh, perceptions of growth in that moment. And we're gonna have that, that the, the pain substances released on a biochemistry level in our mind, substance P, for example, and we're gonna have cortisol and adrenaline, we're gonna get red hot, we're gonna get angry, and you've probably experienced times in your trading where you can't sleep because you've got this, you've got this just mind that doesn't stop running. It's exactly the same as the survival response. You may even find yourself getting up, standing up, because guess what, all the blood, glucose, and oxygen, especially the blood goes from the internal organs to the periphery of your, of your, of your muscles, and you literally feel like in a fight or flight response. So you'll feel it. So what I'm trying to communicate here is that that very response to a painful experience, one of the components of that, one of the factors of that is that hardwired biological survival response. So I put this word remove in inverted commas here. Remove isn't the right word. We're not going to remove that. 
We're not going to remove the pain of losing. That's not possible. Right? I, want to, I want to set this expectation that it's not possible to completely remove the, the pain of losing, the pain of loss in your life. But rather, I would love to communicate that we want to learn to manage that. And we want to learn to understand it and put tools and processes in place to be able to manage if that ever does happen. So if we do take a loss, all right, we may feel that initial sting, but then we got our protocol, we got our tool to use to manage that, to get back to a state of balance, a state of equilibrium to ensure we're process-based. Okay, hope that makes sense. Now, the other component of this is, let's say, for example, in your trading, you've taken an enormous amount of losses in the past that have been very painful. Maybe that's led to uh, challenges in your relationship. Maybe that's led to dwindling savings. Maybe that's in your mind is a lot of stress, a lot of pain, a lot of aggravation, a lot of anger, then we're gonna build up an association in our mind to losing equals bad, losing equals painful, losing equals uh, challenging event in our mind. And we store that in the subconscious mind. And then when something happens in the present moment or in, in, in that moment, right, we take it in, that information looks very similar to a previous experience that we re resented and because our brain works on, a so on association, we see that, we remember that, all those previous experiences, and guess what? The emotion that we experienced and all those previous experiences, because of the association, it comes up and it surfaces. So what I'm trying to say here is that all the stuff you've left unaddressed in your subconscious mind is gonna resurface when a current situation resembles or has a level of an association towards it. So if you don't address the subconsciously stored baggage or associations over your previous losses you haven't gone to each of your losses and addressed them neutralized them found how they've served you and how they've been a growth catalyst to you and you haven't shifted your perspective to them you're going to be run by them in your trading right you're going to be you're going to be impacted by them in your trading okay don't overlook that now the last little component here that drives the pain of losing is by the way probably going to be the most comprehensive pain of losing masterclass you're going to get anywhere, definitely on YouTube. Um, I've got a more comprehensive one in, in the 12 week program. Um, but this, you won't see this stuff anywhere else. This is right. This is not, this is not rah-rah stuff that typically people teach on YouTube. This is going to be grounded stuff. That's very action based and, and you can, you can be certain it works. The third reason you have a, a pain of losing is because of an expectation or an addiction to winning. So in your mind, if in your mind, the moment you take a trade, you have an idea in your mind that this position is going to go this direction. It's going to make me this amount of money. It's going to get me my funded account. It's going to get me recognition for my girlfriend. It's going to get me all this type of stuff. And we associate in our mind a lot of pleasure to that outcome, to that association in our mind. Then guess what? If that position goes for a loss, we not only lose the position, but we lose all those positive expectations that we had attached to that. And what's the opposite of pleasure? It's pain. So by law of contrast, we have a very painful experience. But the reason we have that painful experience in the first place is because of our own expectations and addictions to winning. So the pain of losing is driven by the addiction to winning. And the addiction to the pleasure of winning. I hope that makes sense. Those three things are very, very important to understand. Now, I want you to implement this. I'm gonna start giving you some actionable things you can implement to ensure that you overcome this challenge if you're experience, experiencing painful losses in the market. The first one is a psychological solution. So, the first absolute no-brainer tool that I want you to implement and start doing before every single trade you take and just watch the pain of losing start to go down and down and down because now you're managing your psychology effectively is you have to understand that setting and projecting a positive expectation of the outcome that you've created in your mind in the virtual market and you're projecting it onto the real market will keep will keep ensuring your losses are painful and negative. So the more times you create a pleasurable idea of this outcome is going to be very pleasurable, it's going to get me this and I'm going to really like that, the more you project that onto the market and the market does the opposite, the more you're going to have pain, resentment to, anger in the market. It's as simple as that. So the most simple thing any trader can do, and it really isn't that difficult to implement, it's very simple actually, is this. You wanna identify and ground any unrealistic expectations you're attaching to the outcome of your trades, outcome of your positions. 
and I've created a free Bulletproof Your Mindset tool. Everything's laid out in that tool. It's all a step-by-step -step tool to be able to go in there and do this exact process so you can overcome the pain of losing, okay? And I want you to go into the link in the description, give that a click, or you can go into the link in the first comment. It's gonna be both, they're both the same. And I want you to go to that page and put your name and email in that. And then I want you to, after this particular video, watch those two videos that I've put together with the Blueproof Your Mindset tool. There's one more, a little bit of the theory, and then there's one that's a walkthrough of the tool. And then download that tool, have it with you before every single position you take. And utilize that tool, utilize the principles of that tool, build up an awareness of your expectations, learn to ground your outcome-based expectations, and watch yourself start to take losses and not be phased by the outcome. Because the expectation you had anchored in your mind prior to the position isn't way up here anymore. It's more grounded, it's more balanced, it's more process-based. Because the more we anchor the outcome up here, if we get the opposite, we get the full swing of the pendulum. So it goes from, it goes, this is probably a better way to do it. If we have an expectation out here that's very positive and we get the opposite, then guess what? We're gonna get extreme pain. But if we don't have an expectation on the outcome and we're more balanced, then the outcome, there's no, there's no pain. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So utilizing that tool to identify and ground unrealistic expectations before you take a trade is key. Now, the other thing you can do, and this is more of a shifting perception. This is something we talk about in the 12 week program. I give you the coaching to ensure you go in there and get this, nail this, because this is another key thing. Remember how I said that a lot of the reactions we have in the market are because of those subconsciously stored experiences of the past. If we've left those unaddressed, if a present moment experience reminds us of that, we're gonna have the same emotions come up. So what you can do is you can go back to very painful losses in the past. Let's say you have a very painful experience over a loss. I know I did in my journey when I, when I lost that initial round of investment. And you wanna go back to that specific moment in your mind, get present in that moment, and start having a look at the other side. Because remember, like I said, the survival response is to have confirmation bias to let in all the negatives on a challenging event and have disconfirmation bias on any of the positives. So in that moment, we only let in information that's supporting the negative agenda and we block out any positive. So we can go back to that moment, we can hold ourselves accountable, we can start to pull away that bias and start to see the other side of that event. So we can go back and have a look at some of the benefits in that moment. The very clear and obvious benefits of, of losing, the benefits of losing are that typically what tends to happen is we tend to go back to higher priority setups in our trading plan. What tends to happen is we tend to ground and humble ourselves because we realize that this very painful loss came from us thinking we're better than the market and invincible in the market and projecting ideas onto the market. So the benefit of the loss therefore is we're more grounded, we're more listening to the market. We've got our trading plan close, we're only sticking to high priority setups in the trading plan. These are all benefits of, of losing. Another benefit of losing is you become more open and teachable. You realize you're not as hot as you thought you were and you, you humble yourself and you, you continue to learn, you continue to grow, you continue to study, you continue to ask for help, you continue to watch great YouTube videos that are insightful and beneficial to your journey. These are all benefits of, of losing. So you just go back to a very specific moment in the past and have a look, what were the benefits in that moment of that experience, okay? And then you also wanna go back to moments when you've had very pleasurable wins because remember, the pain of losing comes from the addiction of winning. So if you have very pain, uh, pleasurable wins in the past, then you're gonna have this addiction of winning in the future. So you go back to the specific moment where and when you had very pleasurable wins and you ask yourself, what are the drawbacks in this moment? Well, the, the very obvious win, uh, drawbacks of winning is that it puffs you up into this state of invincibility. It makes you overlook risks in the market. It makes you more arrogant and think you know it. So you, you stop learning as much and you stop being open and teachable. So these are true drawbacks of winning. But you wanna go back to specific moments and have a look at the answers in those specific moments. Now, the ideal mindset that ideally I try and help traders get to. Now, again, this is more of an ideal. You're not always gonna be at this point 100%. You don't get to a state where you're now always process-based thinking. It's a constant journey. Sometimes you're highly emotional after a trade. What's important is recognizing that and having tools and processes in place to bring yourself back to being process-based. But this is ideally the thought process that I would love each and every single one of you to embody. 
I don't care if the next individual trade is a win or a loss. I'm taking the trade because it aligns with my trading plan. It's process based. And I know I have an edge. I know I'll be profitable over a large sample space. So everything I teach on my YouTube, everything I teach with the, the Bulletproof Your Mindset tool, which is that free tool, everything I pass on to each and every single one of you is helping you embody this. It's helping you embody process-based thinking, not being attached to the outcome, not being attached to the outcome of an individual trade, but thinking more long-term, thinking over a larger, larger sample space, because that's key. So in summary, the pain of losing comes from expectations of the outcome, which is the Bulletproof Your Mindset tool is gonna to help you nip those in the bud, as we like to say, and ground them, and be aware of them first, then ground them. And the pain of losing also comes from the addiction to winning and the subconscious, subconsciously stored baggage, okay? The easiest win you can do right now after this video is download that Bulletproof Your Mindset tool and start implementing it before every single trade. That's the, the most important thing any trader can do. So what I want you to do is start managing your expectations prior to every single trade you take. Do that for the next two months and see what type of a difference it makes. And then what you can start to do after that is you become more and more experienced with the Bulletproof Your Mindset tool. You can start to learn to transcend the judgment on the outcome. And this is something we talk extensively on in the 12 week program. Um, and you can start to get involved in that and start to implement those teachings and those tools to really start to address the previous unaddressed experiences, subconsciously stored baggage or subconsciously stored experiences so that on a very deep subconscious level, you're very balanced, you're very poised and you don't have a lot of loose ends in your mind that are gonna unravel when you take a loss in the market. And ideally, you wanna be truly embodying that process-based thinking, that little statement I put there, that's a great little statement to have in your trading plan or by your trading desk to ensure that you're adhering as closely as possible to it, okay? So hopefully you found this video useful and it gave you some ideas on the pain of losing, why we have painful experiences when we lose. If you did, if you did enjoy this, please let me know in the description, in the comments below, and obviously like and comment and subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and if you know this video is gonna help other traders, please share the videos with them. If you know these videos are gonna help your trading community, please share these videos in your trading community. And let's get this whole message of mastering your trading mindset out there. But I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.